This is an older video. Um, I've actually done this before Mother's Day. Um, I actually ended up giving the table to my mom for Mother's Day. Um, I had some videos that was kind of like stockpiled, I guess you could say. And just with life and everything that's been going on, I just, I haven't had a chance to put it up. So sorry that it is a little bit older video, but, and I think it's actually a little bit shorter. I can't remember. Um, but it's just a little DIY project I did, just a old coffee table that actually was sitting outside at my mom and dad's house. And I was actually going to use it and then we ended up getting new furniture and I didn't want a coffee table. So I was like, I'll just redo it anyway for the video for you guys and give it to her for Mother's Day because she was wanting a coffee table and she didn't have one. And it actually turned out better than what I thought it was going to. So here's the so process. we're just going to try and like rough this up so the paint will actually stick and get some of the imperfections out of it. So let's get started. <laughs> I got little tiny, I don't know if they're holes or if they were just bubbles in paint, but I have some Bondo glazing and <laughs> spot putty and some dancing going on. <laughs> I'm back here dancing to mess her up. But I'm, I'm not trying to get down to a wood finish on this. I'm just trying to get rid of the rough points and some imperfections and like there was some runs in the paint on the legs. So, because I am going to paint all of it white and then do like a blue finish over top of it. So I'm just going to Fill some of the holes and get packed to sanding. So glad when that's done. got done sanding we have certain youtubers we watch so much more respect for them now as to why they don't get videos up all the time but let's dust it off start painting hopefully the bottom of it painted I did go ahead and paint underneath there because it is a glass top table and I don't know what you can see and what you can't but I got two coats on the legs and the sides flipped it over 
Now time to paint the top. So much painting. Now I know why I don't paint. All right, I finished up the white. Um, down in these creases, <laughs> the white is still wet, so I don't want to mix these two colors. Um, but I'm just, I'll show you what I'm trying to do. It's just, I don't know if you'll be able to tell or not. That looks so green. But it's just, <laughs> it's not as blue. You just lightly, just take it. Like you're kind of like whitewashing it. Yeah, basically like whitewashing it. Good word for it. Yeah. But I was going to let this white dry overnight. I'd already opened my paint. <laughs> and I was just cleaning off the stick. It just dried out the brush. But this, this is what we're going to, this is what's going to look like when it's done. But we'll let this white dry overnight and come back and finish it. All right, so we're back at the shop. Had to go to Lowe's, Walmart. Man, I needed my supplies, boy. He needed his, there was some stuff to finish his. Yeah. Cool. I hate Walmart. But now, since he wanted to go to Walmart and everything, it's plum, it's plum pitch black outside. And I can't see it hardly as it is anyway. But let's go ahead and finish her up. All right, guys, we're finally done. Yay. <laughs> Thank God. I hate painting. I hate sanding. Now I know why I don't do it a whole lot. But I enjoy the aftermath of what comes with the hard work and aggravation and Walmart trips. <laughs> but he did take me out to eat, so... I mix up for it. But we're finally finished. What it looks like. Sorry, you can't tell a whole lot about it. I was going to go ahead and work on the glass to it. But it is like after 10 o'clock and I'm tired and ready to go to bed. So that will be a project for another day. But here's our refinished coffee table. Halfway done. Alright, we're back at the shop. Um, this looks like a mess of a stencil, but I'm gonna work on the glass. I've already wiped it down with just some glass cleaner. I've got some frosted glass, semi-transparent finish. Um, so we're gonna attempt to see how well this works. I've never frosted glass before, but we shall see. And at first I didn't think it was going to do anything, but you can slowly start to see it turn and see I just scratched it on the stencil right there. It's slowly turning. Probably need to paint back this way too because you only did it one way. Yeah. I was... <laughs> I was over here trying to work on my table because <laughs> I'm still spray painting and stenciling, which is awful. I don't know if you can hear him, but then all I heard was truck noises. I look over, that's what I see. You having fun, baby? I'm driving. I told you not to disturb me when I'm driving. It caused hazards on the road. Put the trailer brake on. When a man just wants to sit in the driveway and drive his truck. Turn it off too. <laughs> All right, we are about, I don't know, halfway through. It takes forever because I'm putting two coats of the frost 
on and I have to wait five to ten minutes in between each one to do. And my stencil's not very big. It's smaller than my hand. But I, I was starting to get a little bit discouraged when I done the first one because I guess at the time we didn't know it was over spray. So then I done another one. So I went to wipe it off because it didn't turn out as good or so I thought. So I actually took some Windex and cleaned it and it actually come out pretty good. So after you do it, you have to like clean it off. But I'm happy with the way it's turning out. Let's finish it up. Right, finally finished it. Finally got done with the stenciling and the frost. <laughs> I hate that. It took so long because you had to wait for each layer to dry. And it took five to 10 minutes, depending on how hot, you know, how long it took to dry. But it took about five minutes between each one. So it took forever. It probably took me, what, about three hours-ish? Somewhere around there. Just to do the stencil. Just to do the stencil. But I finally finished it. There it is. And I did go ahead and flip it up and paint underneath there. Because you can see it a lot when you sit down. That's finally done.